fly like. So just settling in here. And we'll all play our own individual music just so the sound quality is a little better. So if you have the playlist and you wish to press play together, we'll begin with I Got You 45 minute playlist in three, two, one. So lying in our supported thoracic back bend. Either the pads of the feet together and the knees are out wide or the legs are out long, whatever feels best for your body. Taking a deep inhale, filling the lungs, the lower belly, the chest, and then exhale gently out of the mouth. that twice more as you inhale filling the lower belly the chest the back of the body and then a gentle exhale all the way out of the mouth last time Find your biggest inhale you've taken all day. And then allow yourself to fully land in your body. With the breath traveling in and out of your nostrils. Slowing everything down. And really allow this time to tune into your body, to transition from your day of activity, of yang energy to your time, your body, your energy. Maybe it feels nice to notice the length of your inhale. So the next breath in, can you just begin to count with the breath? No need to change the rhythm of breathing, just a simple observation. And can you allow the exhale to match the length of your inhale? Just a simple point of focus on the inhale and the exhale. Maybe that's a count of four in and four out. Deep belly breathing. In our practice today, we'll be taking a mix of yin shapes, longer holds for three to five minutes, and also some gentle, slow movement. And the class this evening is all geared to su supporting your digestive health, for connecting with your belly, your hara, your center. Mm. Impairing movement with breath. So just slowing everything down. And if your breath was a count of four in and four out, then you make it one longer. So maybe that's an inhale for five and an exhale for five. And with each exhale, can you feel the body get a little heavier, feel a little softer, relaxing that space in between your eyebrows. 
little wiggle to the jaw, space between the back teeth. Allowing the shoulders to melt into the bolster behind you. Everything slowing down, tuning in. Staying with this deep rich, full breath in, and your breath out. And on the next round of breaths, we're gonna breathe in for a count of five. And then when you get to the top, we're gonna hold that breath for five, four, three, two, one, and can you slowly exhale, allowing it to last for a count of 10. And we'll do this a few times, so no worries if you didn't get it the first time. Breathing in for a count of five. Holding at the top for five. And then exhaling for 10. Twice more in your own time, no need to rush. And if it's too long or the breathing technique doesn't work for you, give yourself permission to relax. Carving out your time to nourish your mind and your body. One more round. And if the pads of the feet together and the knees are out wide, allow the hands to come to the outside of the thighs, gently pressing the knees in towards each other so that the knees are up towards the ceiling. And just coming by the hips, with the squeezing of the lower belly, gently push yourself all the way up to a seated position. Maybe eyes remain closed here, finding a comfortable seat. Maybe placing a little pillow or block underneath the hip. And we're gonna start with an acupressure point on the inside of the inside of the leg. So starting with the right leg, removing any leggings or any clothing that you have. And we're going to bring four fingers just away from that circular part of the ankle, four fingers up. And then we're going to press our thumb, our fingers into that space. So finding that circular joint of the ankle, four fingers up. And then finding that tender point little circles, little back or forward movements here. Allow that deep belly breathing to continue. So we're activating a meridian point on the spleen energy channel, part of the Chinese medicine system. And this acupressure point is really soothing for the pelvis. So if you're menstruating or if you're experiencing any discomfort in this area, this acupressure point is really supportive. Taking two more nourishing breaths. And then releasing that leg and coming to find that point on the other leg. Finding the joint of the ankle, four fingers up and then pressing into the acupressure point. Spleen full. And although it may feel quite strong, quite sensitive, can the rest of the body be soft? A fixed gaze or the eyes are closed. Tuning in. And as well as helping any discomfort in the pelvic area, 
activating meridians in the feet or the ankles are really soothing, really grounding to bring the energy down. So really focus on that exhale to ground your energy. Two more breaths, really nice. Hmm, releasing that point. I'm gonna come into one of my favorite shapes, which is butterfly. So having all of your props nearby, pads of the feet are gonna come together, knees are out wide. And before we bring any of the props into play, we're gonna find length in the spine. So both sitting bones are pressing down. And then as you exhale, curl forward and notice how much space there is between the chest and the floor or your feet. And then we'll bring the props into play. So maybe a bolster will be enough. For me today, I need a block as well. So resting the forehead down here, arms just out wide. And if it's quite challenging to come into a forward fold here, maybe just placing a bolster or a little block underneath the hips. So it's a little easier to come into that forward fold. And then props it anywhere that you need. So just tuning into what your body needs. It's what the sensation of the shape feels like rather than how the shape may look. So what you want is an opening on the inside line of the thighs. Maybe sensation in the lower back here. So finding the shape, taking a deep breath in, and then softening into the shape. So maybe an element of discomfort, so can your breath be slow and smooth and nourishing, providing comfort for you in this shape. So throughout the practice, we'll be activating the spleen and stomach meridian lines, just as we did a moment ago with our acupressure pump. And in Chinese medicine, the spleen and the stomach are connected to this transformation and transportation, helping to transform the food that we eat and turn it into blood and chi to move around the body, nourish all of the organs. It's really important to our digestive system that these are working optimally. And if visualization feels nice to you, the spleen meridian line begins on the big toe, runs on the inside line of the thighs, coming up through the stomach and the spleen and ending at the tongue. And the stomach meridian line begins on the nose and travels through the torso, through the stomach and the spleen, and then along the front line of the legs. So any time that we move the legs away from each other, as we are now, or any time we're moving the front of the body away from each other, we're activating these two meridian lines. Helping to clear stagnation. Maybe you've noticed that while we've been here, there's a little bit more space to move. Maybe the props can be lessened. Maybe there's more space to sink further forward into the shape. So with your next exhale, explore that space. Giving yourself permission to pull back if it feels like too much. Mm, really nice. That deep belly breathing. Deep belly breathing being the best way to rebalance our nervous system. To 
bring us into that rest and digest, supporting further our digestive system. Three more breaths, three more inhales, three more exhales. No need to rush. And when your third breath comes to close, gently rolling yourself all the way up to a seated position, removing any blocks under your seat if they were there. And then bring your hands behind your knees up towards the ceiling and gently windscreen wiping the knees from side to side. Just releasing any tension from the inside line of the thighs, the lower back. And then gently, we're going to lie all the way back down. So the spine is fully supported by the mat. The pads of the feet are pressing into the floor, knees up towards the sky. Just bring your hands to your lower belly. Finding that breath. And with each inhale, can you feel the belly pressing into the hands? And with each exhale, the belly falls back towards the spine. And on your next inhale, I want you to press into all four corners of your feet. And as you exhale, release this grip. Just a small, gentle movement. Inhale, pressing into the four corners. Exhale to release. Eyes are closed. Facial muscles are really soft. And your attention is just on this simple movement, this rocking of inhale to press into the feet. Exhale to release. And you may notice that with each press and release of the feet that the pelvis begins to rock forwards and backwards. So maybe just feeling into the space, really rocking the pelvis with each inhale and each exhale. Inhale, the pelvis tilts up. Exhale. Exhale, the pelvis tilts down. This is a really supportive shape and transition to take if there's stagnation in the pelvis and in the lower belly, both for digestive health but also menstruation. Option to stay here if this feels supportive or maybe making this a little bigger. As you next inhale and press into the feet, can you begin to peel the spine off the mat, hips up towards the ceiling, squeezing the glutes. And then as you exhale, reverse this movement, spine peels down, bum lands back on the mat. Inhale, pressing into the feet, peeling the spine up and off, squeezing the glutes at the top. Exhale, lowering all the way down. And noticing how this feels in the pelvis. Creating space in the front line of the body. Option to stay here or bring the arms in. Lifting the arms up and overhead as the hips peel up. Exhale, arms come down, spine touches back towards the mat. Inhale, rising up, activation in the lower belly, squeezing of the glutes. Exhale, it all comes down. Allow the breath to lead and the body to follow. The mind simply just observing. And if Thoughts come and go as they're natural to in our busy mind. Can you just notice what's taking your energy and then come back to the breath 
and the movement. Three more rounds of rocking or lifting the hips. Take your choice, your choice of shape and movement. And then when the third round has come to close, bring the knees in towards you, just giving yourself a little squeeze. And really hugging yourself as if it's someone in your life that really needs some love. Maybe that's you. And then gently begin to rock up and down the mat, massaging the length of the spine. And then we'll just build a little momentum so that we can roll all the way over, finding a tabletop position, all four shoulders are over the wrist. And the hips are over the knees, fingertips are spread out wide as if you're going to draw around them. As you inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart space, filling the lungs and really allow the lower belly to drop here. So often in our Western lifestyles, we're skipping in, souping in with our tight jeans, tight clothes. Can we really just allow the belly to hang loose here? Maybe it feels nice to rock the hips little circles here. <sighs> As you inhale to fill the lungs, exhale, sticking the tongue out, audible exhale. <sighs> Once more. <sighs> really nice. And then stop the swaying of the hips if they're there. Exhale to round the spine, chin in towards the chest ping of that lower belly. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, surround. Pressing into the shoulder blades, the upper back. And then finding your way back to a neutral position. As you inhale, press the right foot to the back of the room. Exhale, knee in towards the nose, squeezing everything in. Inhale, right leg goes out long. Exhale, knee to nose, squeezing everything in, pressing into the hand. Inhale, find length. And then exhale, knee to nose, and then step that right foot in between the hands, coming into a low lunge. Hands can come to heart center, pressing into the right foot, the left knee. Allow the belly to just come away from the thigh. Squeezing that left glute. For that lovely opening in the front of the left hip flexor. And then fingertips will just come to the floor, still lifting of that chest. As you exhale, straightening at the right leg, sending the hips back. Scooping that lower belly, long spine. Inhale, sink forward, low lunge. Exhale, send the bum back, right toes up towards the sky. With each breath moving from one shape to the other. Maybe closing down the eyes. Maybe one shape feels more supportive and you choose to stay there. Each moment is just an opportunity to tune in to your body. And then the next time you come to a low lunge, we're going to stay here and transition into our yin pose of up dragon. So just taking any blocks that you have here, right foot is forward, and allow the blocks just to come underneath the shoulders. And then sinking into this shape, releasing any tension, any holding of the muscles. Shoulders relaxing away from the ears. Just allowing the body to sink into the shape. Feeling that lovely opening in the front of the left thigh. Opening up the stomach meridian line. And I'm sure many of us many of us have experienced an excess of stress in our lives this year. 
And stress provokes very emotional reaction, but also a physical reaction. The heart beats faster, the breath changes. But our body also redirects blood flow. Redirecting blood away from the digestive organs and towards more survival instincts to be able to run away from danger. Meaning that there is a cutting off of blood to our digestive organs. And this can cause a lot of pain, a lot of bloating, a lot of other symptoms, a lack of ease, a lack of harmony in this area. So when we come into our deep belly breathing, we're helping to tell the body that we're safe, that we're okay to be here. option to stay in this up dragon or if there's more space available bringing the blocks to the inside of the right leg maybe the right foot can come a little wider out to the side coming into wing dragon option to come up onto hands maybe the space to come to forearm maybe you're coming onto the blade of that right foot And if this feels like too much, giving yourself permission to come back up to your up dragon. That deep belly breathing supporting us throughout the shape. And our deep belly breathing is the most effective way to transition into our rest and digest. Into our parasympathetic nervous system. The more calming yin energy. Even though the shape may feel quite uncomfortable, can you allow the breath to be soft and even and flow gently? A sign to the body that we're safe. And this tool of your breath is available to you anytime, anywhere. Breathing in for five and out for five. Slowing everything down. Last three breaths here. And when your third breath comes to close, gently coming all the way back up. An option to come to a closed knee child pose or coming to a down facing dog. Fingers out wide, curling the toes under and lifting the hips back and that downward facing dog. Your choice. Child pose or downward facing dog. Tune in to your energy, what your body needs. Maybe pedaling out the legs if you're in a downward facing dog. Maybe gently rocking from side to side if you're in child's pose. And just noticing how one side feels compared to the other. And then if you're in child's pose, gently making your way to a downward facing dog, curling the toes under, lifting the hips up high, soft bend in the knees. Fingers spread out wide, nice length in the spine, heavy head. <sighs> a sigh, maybe a bubbling of the lips. And then as you inhale, roll over into a plank position. And then continue the movement, dropping the hips, coming into an up dog, squeezing the glutes. Shoulders away from the ears, lifting of the collarbone. Exhale, coming back to your downward facing dog, hips up towards the sky. Inhale, upward facing dog. Really squeezing that glutes, protecting the lower back, opening up the front line of the body. Exhale, sending it all the way back. Twice more. Inhale, Drop the hips, lift the heart. 
Fill the lungs. Sending it all the way back. Last time here. Inhale, hips drop, heart lift. Exhale, we tuck the toes, lift the hips up high. Take a breath. And then find your way back to your tabletop. Beautiful. Mm. Inhale, left leg reaches out long. Pressing into the hands. Find that lift in the shoulders. Exhale, knee to nose, rounding the back. Inhale, lifting the leg long. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, finding length. Exhale, stepping that left foot in between the hands. Coming up to your low lunge, fingertips framing the foot or hands at heart center. Chest pressing away from the thigh, squeezing of that right glute. Find an openness across the chest. And then hands coming down to the floor as you exhale, sending the hips back, left toes up towards the sky. Inhale, we come forward, heart is lifting. Exhale, sink it back. And just moving from one pose to another. Maybe with a little wiggle, a little sway from side to side. Can you explore this with a sense of curiosity? Exploring your home. Maybe one side feels very different to another. One more round. And then we'll find up dragon on the left hand side. Planting the blocks just underneath your shoulders, hands coming on top of the block. Finding a nice length in the arms. Softening of the upper body. And sinking into that right hip flexor. Maybe it feels a little different on this side compared to the other. Really nice, everybody. Maybe one side feels a lot different, but can we still allow that deep belly breathing? Shoulders sinking away from the ears. And an option to stay here or to transition into your wing dragon. Just heel toeing the left foot to the left side of the mat. Blocks, hands coming to the inside of the feet. Maybe onto hands, maybe onto forearms. Rather than coming into an autopilot, come back to this sense of curiosity, of finding the space, exploring this side of the body. And then finding a long length in the back of your neck and a softening in. Notice if you're gripping toes or fingers. With your exhale, can everything soften a little more? How can you do less? And often when we think about digestion, we think about the food that we're consuming, the food and the drink that we're taking in and how that affects our body. But not only does our body have to digest what we consume in terms of food, but also in terms of everything else around us. The TV that we watch, what we read, who we speak to, who we listen to. The body has to digest all of these areas of energy in the same way that we have to digest food. And 
And in the same way that if we were eating and grazing throughout the whole day, we would feel very sluggish, quite bloated. Can we take a moment to realize how often we consume information throughout the day? Constantly listening, reading, talking, doing. And what impact that has on our body. How much stress and strain that is for the body to constantly be digesting. Three more breaths. So can we be open to doing less and being more? When your third breath comes to close, gently peeling away all the way back up. Coming to a close knee child pose, knees together, arms alongside the body, resting on the forehead. Taking this moment for a rebound. Mm. Allowing the sensations to settle, maybe tingling, maybe heat, coolness, all very normal. And then gently tucking the toes under, sending the hips all the way back, downward facing dog. Taking a deep breath in, and then sighing it all the way out. Option for a slow vinyasa here. Inhale, peels you all the way forward to your plank. Knees to the floor, elbows in toward the rib cage. Thighs, belly, chest to the floor. Inhale, squeeze the glutes. Lift the heart space. Exhale, pressing back to downward facing dog. <sighs> Head is heavy. And then gaze comes forward, slowly walking the feet toward the hands. Taking little pigeon steps until the feet find the hands. Allow the chest to melt onto the thighs. Head is heavy. A few options here, taking hold of opposite elbows with the hands, or clasping your hands and taking them behind the back of the head, elbows in towards the knees, finding length in the back line of the body. Or if you wish to open up the chest and the shoulders here, clasping the hands behind your bed, your head, <laughs> ready for bed already. <laughs> Knuckles pressing away. So finding the bind that feels most supportive to you. And with each exhale, softening into the space. Landing in the space. Four folds are so grounding. Really helping us to calm our energy down. Take two more breaths wherever you are. And then releasing your choice of bite. Inhale, fingertips coming to the floor, and then halfway lift, fingertips tracing up the shins, long spine, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, hands coming down to the ground, stepping back to your downward facing dog, optional vinyasa. Inhale, peels the body forward, plank position, on knees or toes coming through chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, opening up the front line of the body. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, everyone rolling through plank. And then knees come to the floor. Thighs, belly, chest melting down. And then allow the arms to come into a cactus shape. 
at 90 degree angles. And then the left knee is also gonna come up to a little right angle. So it feels as if you're hugging the floor. Taking three breaths here. And while you're here, can you feel the lower belly rising and falling into the floor? Almost like a little lower belly massage. And then coming up onto the fingertips of the left hand, spread the right arm underneath. So you're resting on the back of the right arm. And then begin to peel the left hand all the way up towards the sky, reaching over until it finds the floor. Coming into a simple twist, just with a funky way of getting into it. Maybe just picking up the shoulders and just moving them slightly towards the right, creating more space for the left shoulder blade to snuggle down. Gaze can be towards the right fingertips or the left fingertips whatever feels most supportive. And then the right hand can gently rest on the left thigh if that feels nice. So opening up and twisting into the internal organs. Really nice little detox digestive system. And if at any time the mind begins to jump forward into the future or considering the past of what's happened today, can you bring it back to the breath? To those five inhales, five exhales. Nothing else to do, nothing else to think about. Simply just breathing. Closing down the eyes as they've opened, softening of the jaw. And then gently we're going to reverse this movement. Left arm coming all the way back up, over towards the left. Releasing the right arm and just taking a moment in your little floor hug, resting on the left cheek. Mm. Allowing your weight to be supported by the mat beneath you. And then switching sides, left leg will come out long. Right knee will just come to frame the floor, coming into that right angle. Coming up onto the fingertips of the right hand, threading that left arm all the way through so that you're resting on the left shoulder. Right hand will come all the way up towards the ceiling and then over towards the side of the room. Maybe picking up the shoulder blades, moving them towards the left, finding a little more space in the shoulder blade. Option to rest the left hand on the right side. Notice if the tongue is on the roof of your mouth. With your next exhale, can it gently fall away? Gap between the back teeth. And in the Chinese medicine system, the emotion connected to the stomach and spleen is worry. So if we're worrying a lot, this can weaken these organs and weaken our digestive system. But equally, if we are having issues with our stomach and spleen, this can invite in more worry. 
so while you're here in this nourishing twist can you slow everything down and notice if you're using experiences of the past to create worry for the future last two breaths And then gently finding your way all the way back to center, to lying on your belly. Resting on the right cheek for a breath or two. And then taking your time, gently rolling all the way over, straight for lying on your back. If you have a bolster, just bringing it underneath the knees whole body resting on the mat, palms facing up. Taking a deep inhale, filling the lower belly, the chest, the back of the body. Open the mouth. Allow everything to release. Last time, deep inhale. And a gentle sigh out your mouth. Just notice how the body feels. Maybe a little more space, a little more calm than when we first began. And can you really allow yourself to surrender in these few moments of pure rest? And I'll be here to bring you back out in a moment's time. Beginning to slowly deepen the breath. Maybe licking of the lips, maybe swallowing. Coming back to each sensation of the body. Maybe bringing your hands to your lower belly, feeling into your center. And then when you're ready, no need to rush, rolling over to your left side, the inside of the body. Supporting your head with your hands. We must learn to see quiet as essential. It is not an absence of sound or life, but rather the source of where all life grows. So throughout the rest of your week, I invite you to take moments of quiet, moments of stillness. Keeping your eyes closed, gently make your way to a seated position. Palms facing up. If you're looking for a little more energy, Palms facing down if you need a little more grounding. And 
Allow the face to be fully soft, shoulders away from ears. And then bringing your left hand onto your heart, right hand onto your lower belly. Maybe you can feel your heartbeat. And then hands come together at heart center. Bowing your head in gratitude for your practice. And in gratitude for carving out this time to nourish your mind and your body. Namaste.